Okay, so finally, welcome back to another video. Um, today's video is gonna be a nice, simple, easy video. I'm gonna show you how I make my baby's baby food. <laughs> um, so I used to feed her just the standard little. I still got it. Um, Gerber baby food. I had just gotten this big thing from um, Sam's and then an article came out. Okay, so then an article came out saying that these baby food makers had been making baby food knowing that they had toxic levels of, it was a whole bunch of different metals. I was trying to think of the names off the top of my head, but yeah. So, <clears throat> I originally wanted to make baby food, but life gets crazy, okay? So, the Lord forced me to have to make it. So here we are. I'm gonna show you what I do, how I do it, and keep it rolling. Okay, so I have kind of two different ways that I do it. Um, sometimes, well not sometimes, it, it really just depends on the food that I'm making. Like for instance, I have let me explain first. <laughs> I either get like frozen and she's watching Coco Melon. I either get the like the frozen bag of like fruits and vegetables and steam it or okay, sorry, it's close to uh, nap time for her. But sometimes I do fresh frozen I guess it's fresh, it's frozen, so can't be that fresh. But um, at least it's actual, the actual vegetable in the bag rather than something somebody else pureed up. Um, or I will have fresh fruits and vegetables that I do. Like for instance, I have a bag of apples over there that I peel and um, see myself. Um, it just depends on what store I'm in number one because like for instance this past week I was in Target and I didn't feel like going to the grocery store so we got the frozen joints because Target really just don't have that much fresh food so or if I actually go to the grocery store then that's what I do but since I've been doing the hello fresh subscriptions I haven't been going to the grocery store that much but um so this is the pot I use the steam is the steamer part, I guess. And this is just a regular pot. Um, yeah. So I just put about maybe like an inch of water into the bottom of the pan to steam. Just enough to like cover the bottom of the pan. Okay, so now I got the water in there. Now, there goes the steamer part on top. And I just turn off, oh, wrong eye. I turn on the eye back there pretty close to high. Um, and then put in the vegetables. So this right here is just butternut squash. We're gonna do butternut squash and broccoli this time. Uh -oh. Um, looks like I waste something on my eye that's burning off. But um, I'm gonna be honest with you. When it comes to mixing stuff, I just I, I try to keep vegetables with vegetables and fruits with fruits. I don't like that mess in vegetables and fruit mess. <laughs> but that's just me. But today we're just going to do squash and broccoli. And that's what we're going to do. So now I put my top on it. And it'll probably cook for about 30 minutes. Um, I just say 30 minutes because that's like 
a good kind of time frame but it really just depends on how mushy the vegetables get so um i'll be back and see right now it is four o'clock exactly so we'll see how long it takes to get mushy how it so we are back it's 4 32 um I had to sit down and eat, and I was watching YouTube videos, so I got a little distracted. But, whew, I can smell the broccoli cooking, so I hope my camera is. So, like, we're real mushy in here. Um, that broccoli, like the stems of it, I want it to cook down a little bit more because it's still a little hard so we're just gonna put that top back on it um in the meantime though i'm gonna wash these dishes because i need my <laughs> blender um to blend this out so by the time i finish that then it should be how i would like it. okay so we are back and it is 4 43 maybe it's actually down for a nap so whew. and i'm just poking it with a fork and it seems good gonna turn off the stove and yeah so now comes a little bit of a difficult part <laughs> for me anyway okay so now so yeah I steam vegetables together um the only thing is this is my first time cooking the broccoli together with this um i should put the broccoli in first <laughs> and put the squash on the bottom so that um it could have cooked better but i mean it doesn't matter how mushy it gets because it's gonna be mushed up anyway so now the transfer this is the part that always gets me because i always miss this like i know it's an easier way to do this but well so I'm just putting it into my Nutribullet. Okay, so frozen is the easiest way you can do it. Get a bag of frozen fruits, vegetables, whatever. You can get them already mixed. Steam them, put it in a blender. Um, thing is with like fresh fruits and vegetables most of the time you're gonna have to steam them and that's what kind of takes a minute so now that i got this all in here um i made some apples apples and bananas for her no i made strawberries and bananas for her this morning so i thought i was gonna need some milk but it kind of made it some water itself because the bananas were frozen so i didn't need any milk this is a lot in here, so this is only two ounces of milk. So I'm gonna do four ounces because it's a lot in there. And I'm just coming over here to my um nice little baby breezer and getting the uh, milk. Yeah, we still use this. No hand mixing. formula makes how it should be in the baby breezer just shaking it up to make sure it's all mixed up and the pour So now it's blended up it's hot as hell because it was um because <laughs> it went straight for the steamer in here but um now goes we do, we do the transfer um so they're wet because i like i said i made some apples and bananas this morning so i cleaned it out but um i have two different containers um and i have to buy more of these 
Um, but I'll link in the description box. They both came from Amazon. But this is a silicone one. And once the food freezes in here, like, I can just push it out. And I usually put it in Ziploc bags and label it. This, um, I don't necessarily have to buy more. But they're nice. Because I just pour the food in here. Freeze it in here. And then take the container out. These are the little tops that go on it. So... It go in there like that pull it out you know lift one side up freeze it and then pop it straight in the microwave and it's ready to eat now so that's that so more so these stay at the house with us and this I will put in Ziploc bags and label and give it to um go with her to daycare so now nah, we have some ziplock bag stuff in here too because i just recently got this one mm -hmm. I like to pour into this one before shit <laughs> okay let's just do that <laughs> before because this is something that can both stay and go to the babysitter versus this kind of just has to stay so this is just my little leftover thing because once it's poured in here like that's pretty much it like it has to What am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Ignore me. I like to pour in the other one first because I have to reuse this. Like I can take this out of here, put it in Ziploc bags and reuse it. Versus this, once it's in here, it doesn't come out until she's ready to eat it. <laughs> or we're ready to feed it to her rather. So that's all that's going to go in there. I'm trying to get as much as possible in this lid one. Uh oh. Okay. Gotta go give a pacifier. Be back. So this is like really steaming hot. So I'm actually just going to leave it out for right now to let it cool down before I just stick it straight in the fridge. Okay, so now we've been sitting out for a little while. We cool down. So now we freeze it. There we go. Put this one in there. Uh-oh. There we go. Okay, so we're back. And uh, so that, <clears throat> that's froze. But we're not gonna take that out of there. I need to get this out. Oops. And we're gonna put it right here. And we are going to Get it out of here and put it in Ziploc bag so tomorrow I can make some more. So, get a regular Ziploc bag. I, I prefer a Sharpie marker, but all I have right now is the Sharpie pen. It does the same. So, this was a broccoli and squash. That was black and squash. Yeah, broccoli and squash. I forgot just that quick. <laughs> so, broccoli. It is two 
20 a 21. So for my research, this will be good for three months. Okay. So for my research, this will be good in the freezer for three months. If like you warm it up and they don't want it or she doesn't want to eat it, maybe good in the refrigerator for about two days. So So I can just push them out like that and into the bag we go. some green beans here this is just green beans so I put the little pot in a bowl and it goes in the microwave and start off with 30 seconds and see how it goes from there so after about 30 seconds this is what we have still has a tad bit of ice in it so i'm put it back in for like six seconds just to have it a little warm but you have to be careful because it warms up pretty quickly in the microwave got the consistency and then I just do a finger test to see if it's warm or cold or too hot <laughs> and look out so we're gonna put it back in there for about six or seven seconds just so we can have a little warm to it and now we have a little warm and now we're gonna feed her. Well, never mind. <laughs> you that sleepy munchkin? Let's see. <laughs> You gotta wake up. You gotta take a bath. Bless you. Okay. Yeah, I woke you up. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna try to feed her so she'll have a full tummy for bed. And it's clearly time for bed. Tell her, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe mommy's video. <laughs> See y'all next time.